Hello YouTube, Fuzz here and I've had my lunch so let's carry on going through Pharos, ascending up the second ascent and we're going to be making our way through the threshold of knowledge. On the off chance that you decided you wanted to go through any of the other three doors in this area then they will disable the following abilities. The threshold of wealth which is the northeastern door so that's one on the top right uh, will disable your use of any items the threshold of steel which is the northwestern door or if you like the top left door will disable any use of weapons so you won't be doing any physical damage you'll be relying on magics the southwestern door that's the one directly to the left of us is the threshold of magics as you might guess that disables any use of magic and the one we're about to go through which is the threshold of knowledge here in the southeast uh, disables the in-game map but you do get to keep all your abilities so that's what we're going to be choosing strong magic spined the door it will not open and the reason for that is we need to activate the altar of knowledge so located just to the uh, well just behind the door actually we'll see the altar of knowledge so obviously if you're opening the other doors you'll just need to use the altar that's associated with that door we get a nice pink floaty thingy. And a nice cutscene here and the door should open at this point. Knowledge avails you not. In other words, no mini-map. As you can see, it's disappeared. But we do actually get the main map on the screen, which I did not realise that happened. I knew we could get the map by bringing it up here. But that's good. So basically then we definitely want to be choosing this one since we get to keep all our abilities. And I've got to be honest, I very rarely use the mini-map anyway due to the map overlay that we get. Okay, so here we are through the door. And we're just going to make our way up into the next area. And we haven't yet explored this map. So we can do that as well if we wish to do so. Uh, there's a chest we can grab. Gonna speed things up but not at full four time speed for the moment. So around here I believe is a one time spawn chest in this room perhaps. There it is. So we'll make sure that we grab that before we move on. That contains an opal ring. So there's a few more treasures as well that I'd like us to grab, and I'll show you where they are. There's a treasure chest that can spawn in the room just over here, although this is just a, a repeatable treasure chest, and I don't even think it spawned for us in all honesty. Some of the enemies around this area, by the way, can be quite challenging. They're new enemies in terms of the story. So you wouldn't have seen these on the first ascent, but obviously now you will. So we'll just keep on moving around. There's actually two exits we can choose from. And I'm not sure which one we'll take yet. Both will end up taking us to the same place. I'm just going to collect the treasures first. And we'll see where we end up at that point. And as you can see, we're also building up quite a nice chain by killing these undead as well. So we're just going to continue on around. This is where you'd end up, by the way, if you took, I think it's the uh, Door of Wealth. So... Each of the four doors that you can take from the previous floor will bring you to a different corner of this map. So ultimately it doesn't matter in terms of the location, you just obviously disable a different aspect of the game mechanics. And as you can see the map is by far probably the easiest and one I would recommend doing since you have to do one. Okay so we're just going to make our way around to another chest, a one time loot chest. Some tough enemies, but at our level, we should be able to handle them without too much of a problem. We get a pair of Quasimodo boots. Well, they sound interesting, don't they? Let's just move on around. And I think there might be a chest in this room. Yep. A Rose Corsage. Very nice. And then we'll continue on up to the north, where there's a couple more chests. And there's one more one-time spawn chest we can loot from this area. So I'll show you that before we move on as well. Grab this one here. 
Oh, 86 gil, aren't we uh, happy? And there can be another chest just in this room up here as well. But just another repeatable chest. Nothing too exciting. There it is. A high potion this time. And moving on, there's two more chests we're going to want to pick up. One of which is that one-time spawn chest, or one-time loot chest that I was telling you about a moment ago. And the normal chest can appear in here, but I don't think it's spawned for us on this particular occasion. So if we head across to the southern area of this corner, then we can get the one-time spawn chest, one-time loot chest. It is one time spawn in the sense that it won't spawn again once you've looted it. But if you don't loot it, it can spawn again until you do loot it. There it is, just over there. A Minerva Bustier. Okay. And now all we need to do is head to the next floor. To 62F. We're on 61F at the minute, as you can tell by where the minimap would normally be. So we're going to head over here. Oh, there is one more chest, actually, which can spawn. I don't think we've collected it yet. And I believe it's actually in this area here. But it hasn't spawned, so unless it's over here. Nope. If you want to know about all the treasure... The treasures are that can spawn in this game make sure you check out my treasure maps video where i go over how you can actually download all the maps off the internet for all the treasures in the zodiac age it's very very useful and we're just going to move on around this corner here and to the next floor so look we're ascending again we and this should take us to 63F. At least that's the working theory at the time. No, 62F, sorry. 63F comes next, obviously. So this is 62F. Yes, this is where we want to be. So one of the interesting pieces of treasure we can get on this floor is um, the map for the area itself. So I'll point that out to you once we reach it. And again, there's going to be some tough enemies and they can spawn in some quite larger groups at this point as well so just bear that in mind as you're making your way through don't go racing through or you could end up feeling lots of pain so here we have another one time loot treasure a use mace okay i thought i heard the uh treasure marker but no nope, obviously not so we're going to start by going down the most southern part here yeah. another chest this is just one that respawns and this is actually the exit or very close to the exit so instead of actually making our way through I'm gonna see if we can go up here this is a one-way door I can't remember which side we can open it from there okay there we go so this is the best path to take And there's actually a secret area I've just missed. I'm going to take us back the same way because there's another chest we can loot along the way anyhow. Uh, oh no, they're on the other side of this wall. That's fine. That's fine. There's nothing in here. But the uh, rewards for breaking through this secret area are not actually that amazing, quite frankly. And that's what the uh, noise was we heard after looting the first chest. There's just some enemies in here to take care of. Right, not even any treasure. <laughs> but hey, it's there, so I'm going to show it to you. Now we're going to make our way up and down. And there's a treasure chest on both sides. Which means a tiny little bit of backtracking. But that's no problem. Where did he come from? Now oh, the treasure chest on this side hasn't spawned. At least I couldn't see it. Let's try the other side. Dragon Lich. Sounds very, very nasty, doesn't it? 
And around here can be the next treasure. There it is, look. A crown of laurels. Interesting. So, there's three more treasures for this area, both, or sorry, all, I should say, not both, but all of which are located up north. And also the map that I was telling you about, we can loot that as well while we're up here. So first of all, we're going to enter into both of these side sections, just as we did in the south part of this area. This is a repeatable treasure chest. And we're just going to head around the other side for a one-time loot treasure chest. So speed things up a touch, shall we, so we can make some slightly faster progress. Does make looting treasure chests slightly hard, so I'm just going to slow down again. Uh, a Tula. And now we're going to head up north, and we'll be able to grab that map. Okay, so we actually need to go on <laughs> the other side to another one time. Uh, so one way door. Well, that's cool because here's some more treasure. That's all the treasures looted anyway, apart from the map now. And there's no other secret areas to open in this place. Level hype, what we like to see. There you can see the urn already calling us. Open me, open me. I think we can accommodate. You obtain a map of the Pharos Second Ascent. Wonderful stuff. And you can read the pillars as well if you want to. Although obviously you don't have to read them to do anything else. Right then. Now we're going to head back down south. In fact, we can use that door that we couldn't use from the other side. And we're going to head to the exit on the east side of the southern part of this area. So, we'll speed things up again since we've looted the treasures now. And down here we go. You can see where it is on the map. Ah. Around we go, get all this nasty stuff, and up north. And around here, and through the ancient door. And this is the Station of Ascension. And interestingly, I believe there's actually um, a mob... A rare mob for the Hunt Club quest on this level. So I'll point that out to you. I'll also make the video about it as well. Uh, but if you are doing the Hunt Club quest, then you're probably going to want to get that while you're here in this place. So you don't have to backtrack a little bit later on. Okay, so from the starting location, we are again going to be looting some more treasures, including some more one-time spawn treasures. But don't worry, I'm going to show them all to you as we go. So around here, there can be a treasure spawn, not a one-time one. Uh, it might be in the next room, actually, just in this area here. There it is, look. So I'll grab that. Then if we move over here, just, I need to slow things down. It's just a little bit too hard to control. I know it's annoying because we want to get through all this uh, boring stuff, but I'd rather get through it without actually running into walls, if possible. around about here there should be a treasure chest uh, da, 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 I'm not seeing it maybe I'm just gonna check if it's one that is no it's a hundred percent spawn but I'm not actually seeing it's the problem I think it's because and it should just be around here it contains guilt toss and I've already got guilt toss I think I got it from trial mode so Look out for that chest. If you don't have Guild Toss, which can be a useful ability, especially if you're under-leveled, then uh, make sure you get it before actually moving on. 
from here. I'm going to assume that's why it's not showing up for me anyway. And there can also be chests, once again, on either of these corners or sections, but there isn't on this one. There could have been, but there isn't. So we'll check around the other side. See if there's one. Yep. A black belt. And there's a one-time loot chest as well around here. And I believe that's just in the next room down from us. Well, one of these next rooms, anyway. If it's not this one, it's the room next to which we have to access from the other side. Nope, there it is. So a suit of dragon mail. And there's another falls facade which we can access. Although, once again, there's no treasure behind it. But I will show it you for the sake of completion. Enter into this area here. And there's the falls facade. No doubt there'll be a few enemies in here for us to take care of. Oh no, there's a trap. A rejuvenation trap. So I suppose that's something positive if you need a good heal. Right, so we're done down here now. We can make our way up to the northerly part of this area. And we want to start off with the northeast because of the way the one-way doors work as we head up. So first things first, we'll just head over to the western side. And see if there's a treasure. Again, you can get one in each of these two sections here. On either side. Not on this side though, on this occasion. But check because you can get one spawn there. And we'll check the other side. And there should be one here because it's a one-time loot chest with 100% spawn chance. And we get a sash. And then through here we can get a treasure. There it is in the corner. And now there's just two more treasures to loot in this room. We want to basically head north. And just make your way through the hordes of enemies. Just be careful of the traps here, you might want to cast floats. You haven't got to worry about them then. Okay, and these are one-way doors, which is why we came from the north there. Here's the final treasure. In fact, there was one in this room. I don't know if I showed it you. We might have ran past that because of the enemies we were killing. But you can get a treasure spawn here. There it is. That's the final treasure. And here's the one-way door. So I did mention as well that there's an enemy that can spawn behind here. And this is for the rare quest that you might be doing. Not the rare quest, sorry, the hunt club quest. But it's a rare enemy that can spawn for that quest called the Avenger. So I'm going to see if it spawns. But I'll do it on a different video. So just open this door, which I've just opened. And again, you might get Avenger spawn here. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and check out my Avenger video. Where I show you uh, who he is, how to kill him, and what to steal from him. And then, if you're done with that, move up these stairs. He might not be there, by the way. And if you're not on the uh, Hunt Club quest, then he definitely won't be there. But either way, come up these stairs and we'll enter into the next area behind this ancient door. And you're going to like this room. The reason for that is there's a save point. And we all like our save points, don't we? Especially when we've not seen one for a while. Looks like we're getting nice and high up in this uh, dungeon now. We've ascended to the uh, top, or near the top of the second ascent. But that's going to be it for me for today, folks. So thanks for stopping by and joining me. And come back soon. And we've got a boss fight coming up, so we'll take care of that. And then we'll continue on up. Cheers all. Goodbye.